Freelancing is now the future of UX UI design. It's the best way to actually get experience working with clients. That's because success in this industry is more and more about being a great generalist, meaning being able to do very well most of the things around design as well. But it's also not a single process that everybody needs to do exactly the same anymore. And in some cases, you can skip a step to deliver your work much faster. Today, I'll show you how to plan, type frame, and then no-code deliver a client website header for both desktop and mobile. This is a process very similar to the one that I'm using with my Fortune 500 clients, including the annotations. For building out the UI, we will be using Wix Studio, completely skipping the traditional vector design tools. So we'll go straight from pen and paper into a workable, clickable solution. Today's video is brought to you by Wix Studio. The email came at 4.59 p.m. A new client needs an awesome landing page. They have a plugin that connects to your social media. And then when you're looking at a product online, it checks whether some of your friends previously bought it. They call it friend proof, like social proof, but with friends. Their current website isn't performing very well, even though people actually love the product. So this is where you come in. The current site looks like this. It says shop with friends, ask your friends about your purchase, find which of your friends bought a product you're considering and seamlessly ask them about it. And that CTA that just says sign up. So I add all my annotations about the vague copy, the inconsistencies and the silliness. Of course, it shows a 3D blob with photos of your friends that were clearly taken from a free stock photo site. We can do better and fast. Let's start with redesigning the messaging. I normally do this on paper, but this time to switch things up a little bit, let's use an iPad and let's create a quick type frame like this. My proposed slogans are 10,467 users, including your friends. Only buy things your friends recommend. Hundreds of reviews of online products from people you know. And then the CTA would say, join your friends. The copy is more oriented on the fact that your friends are likely already there. When we send out the type frame, we clearly annotate it, explaining all of the design decisions. And I try to do it in green to showcase that this is a better version compared to the red annotations for the previous version. Annotations help with guiding the client to provide the right kind of feedback, if any. The client sent in a couple of small tweaks and one copy change that we added to the post-launch strategy to be A-B tested against the main one. Okay, now let's go to Wix and start building up the website. I made myself some assets before, but the entire process of assembling everything together is not happening in a traditional vector design tool. It's being built right away in a no-code tool. So this is a working website, not a prototype, not a design that will have to be coded to be a website. It is a working website as we build it. First thing that I noticed is that how easy it is to use because I haven't used this platform before and I was able to work in it pretty quickly after just a couple minutes. So I started by adding the logo and then adding in the text blocks and recoloring them. And this works just like in traditional design tools, but it already outputs something that is coded and works, which is awesome. So adding a button, making sure it says the right things, rounding the corners and setting everything up exactly as I want it. And you can make little adjustments to the grid as well so I can move the logo a little bit to the right. Now dragging in an SVG from the outside and then one of the products that we'll be showcasing, then some decorations and it's just drag and drop moving stuff around. But since I split it into two separate cells horizontally, it's a lot easier now to just keep everything in the right spot. So now I'm adding a little bit of an overlay and adding some text into it. So it's a container basically, kind of like an auto layout one. And this will be our product description. So making the title and subtitle a little nicer and then adding a glass morphic effect and it's right there in the options. Now I can unround one of the corners and make this into a little chat box. Then adding some text onto it, this is gonna be a positive comment and now a negative comment about a product. 
Okay, now we have the comments so we can figure out how to do the rest of the interface. I'm just dragging and dropping photos of people. These are gonna be your friends and they are not stock photos. So this is gonna make it a little bit more realistic. Arranging them in a nice way. And as you can see, they can actually overlap a little bit outside of the frame and they will be kept inside by the boundaries. This is really cool. Now adding the thumbs up and thumbs down icons to show which friend voted which way about that t-shirt. Adding in animations both on click and hover and on appear so some things will appear as you can go into the section and see it for the first time which makes it more interesting and now switching to the mobile view i set it up so one section is under the other and then you can just rearrange the elements for mobile which creates the mobile breakpoint and of course then you can rearrange them in a way that will make sense for the mobile device some things can be bigger smaller and i removed the little chat boxes because i think for a mobile phone that's going to be too much so you can just hide some things that are going to be cognitively overloading the users on mobile devices and then making the text the right sizes it takes a little bit of adjusting but once you get into the right flow of how it's supposed to look it's actually surprisingly easy and i like that the layout doesn't break on other breakpoints it just kind of stays in the right spot all the time so obviously you can do it manually like this and it's gonna work but there's one other way that i want to show you as well but for now, let's just make all of these elements right in the spot that we want them to be. Okay. And modifying a little bit extra because I want the animation for the text to reveal from the left side. Some little final tweaks, but also we can create a container and then it will help us create a more auto layout like guides between the different sections so you can specify the paddings and margins between them and it will make this whole component a lot more easier to edit basically it's probably also good to do it at first because then you might have to modify it slightly on mobile devices again but once you do it it's just gonna be way easier to just set the right distances and spacing for everything and now you have a fully responsive website you can just plan things the right way the designer way and then execute them into a working website what that gives you is first of all speed but also it gives you the ability to help clients that need a little bit more than just a figma file at the end they want a website and they need a website so stopping just on the design stage as a freelancer is limiting you from accessing the clients that want a full package and trust me most of them want a full package and there is something great in first designing your website and then almost instantly being able to see it in your browser on either your computer or the mobile phone and it just works so go check out wix studio in the link in the description down below and obviously have a beautiful day